5G is the focus at MWC 23, but for Nokia Bell Labs, it's about the future. I'm Michael Hainsworth, live in Barcelona. Peter and Amanda join us from Nokia Bell Labs. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, welcome for having us. Good to see you. Great to join you. All right, so let's first of all talk about the fact that there have been mock-ups in the past of 6G, but these are now real-world demonstrations. No, indeed, we are proud to show the first two real proof of concept 6G systems. And what we are showing is really how 6G will be different from 5G. The first system is what we call a network with a sixth sense, 6G. Six tenths. It's using the ubiquitous radio around us, not only for communication, but also for sensing. Using radar to sense location of people or objects, speed and even gesture. The second demo is about using AI in very new ways, also for the air interface. AI that recognizes the channel con conditions instantaneously and then the two endpoints figure out what is the optimal way to communicate. And what we have shown is that you can get performance improvements of up to 30%. Now let's talk about that 6G sensing side of things. Amanda, how does it work? Well, as Peter mentioned, so in 6G, the network became becomes a sense itself, and it's a critical element for creating digital twins at scale. So if you think about uh, for example, the digital twin of a smart city, it really can keep the flow of the traffic, understand the flow of the traffic, the people, whether they are connected or non-connected. All right, we got Peter giving us an example yes. demonstration. Yes, let's do that. All right, so what we have here is a live 6G demo using the prototype radio equipment. So we can see as Peter walked through the corridor, so this is a harbor environment. Imagine it's raining, it's foggy, and you can't really see that very clearly. And the system basically the, the, using for communication will be able to identify the location and distance of Peter as he walks through the corridor. So as you can see here, um, as Peter walks, the forklift came and then he got a warning sign because the system understands the location of Peter and then to ask the forklift to stop. And as he continues to work and then exit the uh, danger zone, then the forklift stops. So this is really a way like to demonstrate how network will be able to sense, think and act. That's really quite remarkable that you can leverage the wireless capabilities to figure out what's going on in a space. Great for autonomous robots and things of that nature. Uh, Peter, give us a, a sense as to what's next from Nokia Bell Labs. Well, we have in total set six research directions. Makes it easy to remember for 6G, right? <laughs> so you already saw two of them. What are the other four? So first, there is higher capacity using new spectral bands, going for extreme massive MIMO with a thousand antenna elements. And so it's very challenging to achieve that with low energy consumption. Second, the future network is a network of networks where the endpoints are again networks. The body area network, a car area network, a machine area network, with very specialized extreme network uh, capabilities beyond the URLLC of 5G. Then the future network, we see that as a completely cloudified network to benefit from the flexibility and the scalability that cloud brings you and enable new as a service deployments. So the whole architecture research around that and the automation, again, using AI. And then last but not least, also security. Making sure that the network, the services can be trusted and that privacy is preserved. So a whole set of exciting research where that is already in full swing. Thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank this has been absolutely fascinating looking into the future at MWC 23. I'm Michael Hainsworth.